The 2023 season of football still has many more weeks left, seven to be exact, but Joe Burrow's season is going to end. Um, he suffered a torn ligament in his right wrist, and his injury will likely require surgery. Um, he was actually injured before the game, but the injury became more prevalent during the game. Now, as we know, the Bengals do not have a good record right now. They're 5-5. Five and 5-5 five. Five and five is nowhere near good enough to be in serious playoff contention. Um, and they're on a, a losing streak right now. They started one and three, improved to five and three, and now they're at five and five. So it's hard to say exactly what's going to happen. But looking at it, the Bengals are now in the ten spot, and you know they used to be like at, at the eight seed, just out of layoff contention, only because of a tiebreaker with the Texans. Um, the Bills, Bengals, Raiders, and Colts are all at five and five. The way it's settled, however, is that the Colts um, will win over everyone based on conference record. Raiders beat Cincinnati and Buffalo based on conference record. And the Bengals have the head-to-head advantage over the Bills. They always will for the rest of the season, though it's unlikely to matter. It's unlikely to actually matter um, just because of the... um, you know, the fact that neither team is likely to make the playoffs right now. Especially because now Burrow is injured. They're going to have to play a different QB, and Burrow is really the quarterback that brought life back into the Bengals, the reason why they even made Super Bowl 56. And they were able to go all the way to the AFC Championship game in the 2022 season as well. But now they, like, really don't have that anymore. Oh, and the Ravens, they improved to 8-3. and three. And are now in a serious position to threaten the Chiefs, who are 7-2. and two. The Chiefs and Ravens aren't playing this season either. Right now, Chiefs' conference record of five, is 5-1. Five and one. Ravens is 5-3. and three. Now, they both have the same amount of conference wins. The Chiefs obviously have fewer losses. So, the Ravens are in serious position to threaten the Chiefs for the number one seed. Looking at the Chiefs' schedule, they, they're playing the Eagles this week. If they lose to the Eagles, then they are going to um, then they are going to give up that number one seed. Now, for the Eagles, if they lose this week, just looking at the NFC standings out of a curiosity for it, um, we will still remain in a one seed no matter what because the Detroit Lions can't threaten us. Because we have a superior conference record as of right now. The Eagles and Lions are not playing the season, but obviously it will be encouraging if the Eagles um, are able to um, come out with a win and go to 9-1. But it's going to be a very bitterly contested game. It is a Super Bowl 57 rematch, and Super Bowl 57 was one of the more controversial Super Bowls um, um, that happened. The Chiefs then play the Raiders, who are honestly a bit of a resurgent team after firing Josh McDaniels. The the Packers should be an easy win for them, and honestly, the Bills should be an easy win for them as well. Based on how the Bills have been playing, they should easily storm over the Patriots. Raiders, again, could be a tough game. They've been a resurgent team after Josh McDaniels is fired, though playing low-quality opponents like the Giants and the Jets, and yes, I am saying the Jets are a low-quality opponent now, really does mean that they might not be able to hold off a good team like the Chiefs. I mean, they barely beat the Jets anyway, so it could just be a coincidence. Bengals should be an easy win now, and Chargers also should be an easy win. So, so the Chiefs look to be in good position to win on most of the games. I think they're going to go 13-4 and this season. Uh, that's just what I think. As for the Ravens, Chargers... And Rams, the two LA teams, would be easy wins for them. But then they have to go up against the Jacksonville Jaguars, which is going to be a very tightly fought game. Jaguars are a very powerful team, but um, they started 1 and 2 and went to 6 and 2. They had a catastrophic loss against the 49ers, so they're going to have some games. 
between now and December 17th to prove that they're a worthy team. By the way, the Ravens have to buy the week of December 3rd, in case you're wondering. So, it's going to be a primetime game, um, so we'll see. And it's going to be a very important game to determine um, who's the better team. It's going to be important in the standings as well. Um, this Ravens versus Jaguars game is really going to mean a lot to the league um, and her playoff standing. And it's going to be an interesting game. Then they play the 49ers and the Dolphins. And then they play the Steelers. And to be honest, these all sound like they could, a lot of these sound like they could be hard games. They're playing four tough opponents to end off the season. The Dolphins have of not being a good team. And I think that the Ravens will be able to beat them. I also feel like the Ravens will be able to beat uh, the Steelers at home. And the Dolphins are also playing at their home. But they're traveling on the road for the 49ers and Jaguars. I expect both of these games to be losses for them. So, realistically, I see them winning four out of four of their remaining games and finishing 12 and 5. Which is, yes, behind the Chiefs. But it's they're going to be able to threaten the Chiefs. That I will say, they'll be able to threaten the Chiefs. Um, so, so we have that going for them. Looking at the Dolphins, do I think the Dolphins will be able to seriously challenge anyone? Jets, Commanders, Titans, Jets, Cal... Um, um, th- those should be four easy wins for them. Um, they should be four easy wins for them. But the Cowboys, Ravens, and Bills. I think they'll be able to beat the Bills at home. Don't get me wrong. I think they're going to be able to beat the Bills. Josh Allen has been known to dominate over them. But now the Bills team is struggling. At the beginning of the season, they were uh, healthy. Um, so I think they're able to win that. I think they're going to lose Cowboys and Ravens. And they might honestly lose one of their other main games. They probably will. Maybe the Jets are able to sneak a win in through there. So, all in all, uh, they have seven games remaining. And I am expecting four of them to be wins. And three of them to be losses. Oh, wait. I forgot to play in the Raiders. They have eight games left. Um... My bad. They're playing the Raiders, and I think they're going to beat the Raiders at home. Yes, the Raiders are a resurgent team, and they're, um, you know, doing a lot better. But on the other hand, I mean, the Raiders um, are known to go on win streaks and then um, and then collapse. I mean, a similar thing happened last year where they won three in a row, but then they ultimately still, you know, collapse at the end of the season. Five and three for the Dolphins then to end off the season. I think they're going to go 11 and six. Finally, for the Jaguars, and by the way, I picked all these teams to win the divisions. Um, I don't think another team is going to be able to take it from them. But looking at the Jaguars, they have um, eight games left as well. Titans should be a win. Titans are one of the worst teams in the AFC. Texans. The Texans beat them the last time. CJ Stroud is becoming really powerful, and they had um two very gutsy wins. The Texans over, honestly, pretty good opponents. Um, well, actually, the Colts aren't really a good opponent, but they beat the Bengals, which they were very respected at the time. Um, now they're not really going to be respected, but at the time, the Bengals were actually a good team. They actually might lose that game. Bengals, they should be able to – I feel like they should be able to beat. The Browns, they actually probably going to lose to. They're probably going to be able to beat the Ravens. I said that. Buccaneers, I think they're probably going to be able to beat. Panthers should be an easy win. And they close up against the Titans. I think they should be win there too. But honestly, I'm, I'm predicting two more. I'm predicting at least two more losses. But they might lose three. I put it to either 12, 5, or 11, and 6. And um, playing the Ravens is going to determine that tiebreaker. As for the Dolphins, that will have to go to conference record. Signing off now.